find some place to hunker down. I'll see you there. Sliding into unconsciousness, I could somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister, almost lost me. Zeke was always there, somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft. Rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city, and we were stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. You gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it. Master it. Just hope it's not too late. I thought you were gonna watch TV. Ah, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. I'm glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a haul. Good job! 
old man. Boob tubes are working. Weird. It feels like I got more power. Yeah? But try frying those dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. So low, thought it was gonna crash into us. Hey, it's a TV jacker. I love this guy. Just got word that the feds dropped some relief packages into Archer Square. The liars wrote in the corporate media tell us that we're gonna get our fair share, that more is coming. <laughs> That's easy for them to say. They're not the ones living in this hell hole. And the truth is that we've been abandoned. And no one's coming to save us. So head over to Archer Square and get that food before the Reapers show up. Voice of Survival, out. Told you they dropped food. Man, you must be out of your mind. Think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from pigging out, though, is it? <laughs> Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Oh, man, you get to have all the fun. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, that was one hell of a jump, man. Wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Yeah, that sucks donkey balls. Hey, Cole. Before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six-shooter. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> the look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Traded this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. Come on! Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot a few blocks from here. Hey, Cole. You know what I miss? Pizza. Big slop and slice. Dripping with grease and pepperoni. And payday. Having a big fat wad. Bills in your pocket. Yeah, I'd settle for some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's? And I had to take a leak? And that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> You pissed all over him. Hey, he told me to put up my hands. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome! Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome! <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. He told me he was gonna leave it under a car. I figured there'd be only one. We'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. Woohoo! Hellacious! Hell, I didn't know you could do something like that. Yeah, me neither. There was the surge. Hey, man, you don't look so hot. Trained all of a sudden. Hang on a sec. Did you see that? Man, you're a walking battery! You must have to recharge whenever you fire off a bunch of juice. I can feel the electricity surging through me. Almost like I'm being healed by it. Oh, this rock's so hard! Come on! 
Let's haul tail over to Archer Square before someone takes all the brewskis. Cole, you there? Hey, babe. You hear they dropped some food? Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? All right, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. Now I'm jumping off of buildings, frying the junk on Zeke's roof. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. stuck up there. I hate to say it, pal, but, uh, hey, you're the only guy here who'd live from a fall like that. You gotta climb up there and knock that stuff free. Where I caught my first sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now, they own the Neon District. Taking whatever they want. That changes today. I got one open. Let's eat. Hey, 
Hey, Trish. Oh, I'm so glad you got the food down. These poor people are starving. Just doing what I can. Someone had to help them. Those idiots dropped us canned prunes. Now who the hell would want to eat this crap? Take a look at this, Sapphire City. The plot you're seeing was taken by a security camera near hey, ground Cole. zero. Hey, You're up on the big screen. Our city, our lives. Someone from your family died? Well, now you know who took the way. If you know anything about this guy, let me know. Because we got to get the word out on this terrorist. Whoever he is, we're going to make him pay. Ever been called a terrorist? All I remember from that day is going to work and then running for my life. That video, though. How'd I get that package? Why would I deliver a bomb? For who? Regardless, the consequences are everywhere. Whatever there'd been between Trish and me was gone. She didn't say a word. No emotion, nothing, just walked away. By then, people nearby were starting to recognize me. It was gonna get ugly. Even Zeke was giving me weird looks. He and I made quick plans to meet up at Stampton Bridge. Try to get out of town. Just hope he shows. Because right now, I'm a little short on friends. Give you the food, leave me alone! I've lost everything. Uh, listen, man, I'm almost to the bridge. Since everyone here hates your guts, we gotta get out of town. Pronto like. I'll meet you there. And Zeke, thanks for watching my back. <laughs> sure, man. I ain't about to do anything that might piss you off. <laughs> See ya! Bridge. The fastest way out of town. That is, if you can get us past those baton-wielding goons. We're getting out of here, one way or another. Follow my lead. You have entered a restricted area. Lethal force may be used at any time. Please return to your homes. Gonna have to get past those riot cops if we want out of here. If I fry a couple of the guards from inside the crowd, but I can trigger a riot, help keep the heat off Zeke and me. Of course, that means a lot of innocent people will get the hell kicked out of them.
make you a harder target! This area is under strict quarantine. Indiscriminate lethal force will be used against all unauthorized personnel. This is your final warning. agent Moya had seen the footage of me at Ground Zero and came here to wait, figuring I'd try to escape, knowing I'd have powers. She explained that before the blast, her husband John had been assigned to infiltrate the First Sons, a shadowy group working on a project they called the Ray Sphere, a device designed to drain the neuroelectric energy from a group of people 
and concentrate it into an individual. She'd lost contact with John the night of the blast. Despite all her connections, Moya was losing hope. Yet she'd found me, somehow believing I could be trusted, ready to make me an offer. I go back to the city, find John in the Ray Sphere, and she'll get me out of the quarantine and clear my name. This whole Ray Sphere thing sounds crazy to me. Suddenly I'm a human white socket, so maybe I should cut her some slack.